Previously, we created the welcome and button components inside the app.jsx file. This works fine, but as your app grows, you will have dozens or even hundreds of components and defining them all in one file will get messy real quick. The solution is to give each component its own file. Let's start by moving the welcome component into its own file. In the source folder, I'll create a new file called welcome.jsx. The file name can follow either Haskell case or kebab case convention, but I will stick with Pascal case with this part on React Essentials. And as for the file extension, it should be .jsx for React components when working with Veet. Basically, it's an extension of .js. Next, I will cut the welcome function from app.jsx and paste it into the new welcome.jsx file. We see an eslint error, but if we ignore that error for a second, save the file and check the browser, we don't see any UI. If you open the DevTools console, you can see there is an error. Uncaught reference error, welcome is not defined. React is telling us that welcome component is not defined in app.jsx. That makes sense, right? We moved the component to a different file, but app.jsx doesn't know where to find it. This is where JavaScript modules come in. We need to do two things. First, export the component where it is defined. And second, import it where we want to use it. So first, let's export our welcome component. At the bottom of welcome.jsx, add, export, default, welcome. What does this mean? We are telling JavaScript, hey, when someone asks for this file, give them the welcome component by default. Now, back in app.jsx, we need to import it. At the top of the file, add, import, welcome from, quotes, dot slash, welcome. Let's break this down. Import is the keyword that tells JavaScript we want to use something from another file. Welcome is what we want to call it in this file. From dot slash welcome tells JavaScript where to find it. The dot slash means look in the current folder, and we don't need to add the dot JSX extension because React figures that out. Save both the files, refresh the browser, our welcome component is back. But now it's properly organized in its own file. Let's do the same thing with our button component. So create a new file within the source folder called button Dot JSX. Cut the button component code from app.jsx and paste it in button.jsx. Export the component as default and in app.jsx import it at the top. Import button from dot slash button and we invoke it within the app component. Save the file, refresh the browser and you will see the same result as before. Now there is another way to write components that you will see everywhere in React code, and that is using arrow functions. Let me rewrite our welcome component. const welcome is equal to an arrow function. Similarly, we can rewrite the button component as well. const button is equal to parentheses, arrow syntax, and then the function body. If you take a look at the browser, our app continues to work as expected. If you want to learn more about the arrow function, check out my JavaScript and advanced JavaScript crash course on the channel. Now here's another thing. So far, I've been showing you default exports, but let me share the pattern I'll be using throughout this course. Instead of default exports, I prefer named exports with arrow functions. So remove the export default statement and simply prepend export when defining the function. Export const welcome and then the arrow function. With this approach, the import looks a bit different. You need curly braces for welcome. Save the file, refresh the browser and you will see the same result. Welcome Vishwas and click me. The primary reason I prefer this pattern is that it prevents naming confusion. You see, with default exports, the component can be renamed arbitrarily at import time. 
So in app component, button can be imported as amazing component and invoked as amazing component. The app continues to work. But with named exports, which is the case for welcome component, we can't do that. We have to call it welcome. This leads to much easier debugging and maintenance. Now the key takeaway here is that organizing components into separate files makes your code more maintainable. Each component has its own space and you can easily find and update components as your application grows. Plus, this modular approach means you can reuse components across different parts of your app just by importing them. All right, now that we know how to create and organize components, you might have noticed something interesting about the code we are returning from the app component. We are writing what looks like HTML directly in our JavaScript files. How is that even possible? Here's the thing. This is not HTML at all. It's actually something called JSX, and it's one of the things that makes React so powerful. Let's dive into that next.